All right, the grates are off. Um, in case you didn't see it the first time, here's how I move the blades from these. I just press this way and I try to put even pressure on the hub, trying not to bend anything. Um, and let's see if it works this time. There we go, not so bad. And it uh, comes right off of there as you can see. So, again, the point of this today is just to get the motor apart and oil it, but I might wash, uh, wash some of it too, clean the case out. The grates are a disaster and they're very frab brittle from the age. One of the drawbacks of this design, they're, they're cool looking fans, but the grates get brittle over time if they were left in the sun. This one for sure. Um, so there you go. Stay tuned. So from the front, it doesn't look that bad inside the motor. Um, I'm going to do my best to clean this goop off. I'm probably going to use WD-40 so that when the face slides off, none of that sticky stuff ends up on the bearing. I don't know why. I mean, I know why they did it, but wouldn't that stuff get all over your bearing and create some terrible problems if you took the motor apart? And aren't you supposed to take the motor apart to care for these things properly? So then doesn't that stand to reason? Blah, 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 blah. You know the deal. Uh, so let's see how I can do that. I don't want to get any WD-40 inside, but I want to get as much of the gunk off to see how we do. Next item is that, uh, as you all probably already know, this is new to me, but this uh, the switch fixture is screwed in as opposed to plastically clipped in. The two newer fans that I've just worked on, they just clip into the box. So I'm going to unscrew that, and uh, we're, we're rolling to get the motor free of the housing and work on it down here. So that's the plan. Off. And then I suppose this just slips out. There we go. And just to not lose this. Okay, so it's got the plastic bag on there. Um, which uh, is kind of wretched. Maybe it's about time after 30 years to take that little bag off of there. I'm going to try and clean some of the dirt off of the wire here. Um, stay tuned. Alright, we're doing good. We got the... Uh, the switch box out, um, cleaned off. I'm going to leave the plastic on there, the hell of it, um, for now. Uh, everything was functioning fine electronically. So now we're going to we're gonna unbolt the motor so we can get it down here and work on it. All right, so here we are. we got this crusty old girl off. And uh, just need to get the grease off of the case. Um, clean out the motor. Again, I'm going to try to get some of this goop off of here before I pull it apart uh, so that's first uh, and I'm probably just gonna use a little WD-40 because um, it's a good penetrant and cleaner so hopefully that will do something nice for us without getting it into the motor so let's see first if this is spraying shake her up all right so we got a little pressure uh, and let's see what we can do Well, I cleaned some of it off. All right, the goop's coming off. What it looks like is we have some rust, or worse, build up here. I might have to get out the emery cloth. It's chipping away a little bit, but let's see if a little more WD-40 helps. chipping away. The question is, is that going to be enough? All right, let's 
keep working on it here. So chipping away at that junk that's on there. Whether it's old oil or who knows what it is. Okay. But that's not going to slide right off of there too easily. We're going to need to uh, address that probably. I would imagine. I suppose since we're cleaning it, it doesn't matter if we get a little WD-40 in there because we're going to clean it all out of there anyway. Hmm. Play doesn't seem as bad. And I wanted to remember to mark the top. I was going to mark the bottom, rather, with a Sharpie so that when I put it together, it all goes together correctly. But I shouldn't need to do that on this motor because these have the oil ports so you know what's the top. So I guess I don't gonna have to do that. That's what I was one of the things I was thinking about doing. Um, all right, next item of business. All right, so that looks okay. It's fairly clean. Um, we're gonna drop, I don't know, I might even put a little oil on here just so that it's easy coming off. I'm gonna double check that it's clean and we're gonna try and uh, pull this motor apart. Um, see how it does. Now I've been checking out some videos and watching some repair stuff. There's one guy in Canada, um, great page, he's an electronics repair guy and he's done a few motors just for himself, fans just for himself um, and he does really good videos, pretty in depth and uh, he, uh, on some of the older fans, these are difficult to get apart uh, and I have seen him use a, you know, a hammer and a flathead screwdriver to start popping them open. This might not need that. And I also, I would use a piece of wood and I would also tape, I brought some masking tape out and I would tape around the fan to not screw up the paint too much. Not that it matters really, the paint. I mean, we're not talking about a museum piece. This isn't going to the Museum of Fine Arts, so it's just a fan. Um, but still, you wanna take care to do those kind of things because when it comes down to the Lasco 1954, that's the one you don't want to scratch the paint on. So good practice across the board is good practice across the board. Um, so that's the plan. Stay tuned.